by heavy hitters like Ib and Yume Nikki. Um, made by Acha. Acha? Maybe. I don't know. But, um, despite the nice pink girly uh, background here, this game is not suitable for children. So, you know, and some, some people may find a few things um, upsetting or triggering, so, you know, just watch with caution. Here we go. Oops. Oh well. Door is locked. There's a chocolate on the bed. Eat it? Duh. Oh, excuse me. Ow, there's something hard inside. Fruit is death's temptation. Okay. Oh, hello there, Mary. Hmm? How do I know you? Why, that's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? Oh my, oh my. Well, you were very small when we first met. It's no wonder. Well, my name is Benilda. I'm the maid of your dreams. <laughs> If you don't remember me, I bet you don't remember anyone else, do you? That's alright. To get started, why don't you go visit... Penguindel in the room next door. I'm so happy to see you again, Mary. The gold fruit is a prize for the winner. Okay. She really wobbles when she walks. Is she drunk? But the children will come. <clears throat> the giving tree! Sleeping Beauty, page 3. Finally, she came to an old tower. A narrow stairway led up to it. Being curious, she climbed up until she came to a door. There was a small yellow key in the door. She turned it and the door sprang open. She found herself in a small room where an old woman sat spinning flax. Mary, is that you? Why, what a surprise! It's been years, hasn't it? You've certainly grown since we last met. Would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream, after all. You want to say hello to Foxanne when you're done. She'll be ecstatic to know that you're here again. Go toddle along now. There's someone waiting for you in the room after Foxanne's. It's best if you visit right after seeing her before going to anyone else. If you say so. 
where the wild things are. Alice in Wonderland. Charlotte's Web. Mary, is that you? Wow, look at you! Going up on me, huh, kid? Can't believe you hadn't even stopped to visit these past years. You're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. Not if I can't help it. You should go talk to Boris first. Then we can play some games together, like in the old days. Just go down the stairs at the end of the hall. You can't miss that door. It's the only one after mine. Boris is in the garden. You can get to it by heading down the stairs at the end of the hall. said, wait, don't go there yet. So, the confident statue goes here, the longing statue goes there, and the wounded statue goes there. Is that an actual book? I've never read it. I've never heard of it.
can't go there yet again? <sighs> Come on. Uh. That's it? You don't need me to do anything else?
to the Q&A, we've gotten quite a few letters of support from you fans. Thank you for your encouragement. I'm very happy about the response we've gotten. Now let's start with a letter from Ephaya. He asked, I wonder, does Mary have a favorite type of dream, and how does she favor them? Yes, indeed, Ephaya. Mary's favorite dreams are the long ones that take her deep and away into different worlds. She doesn't like short dreams because they start going dark and still and scary. Ifanya also submitted a haiku in his letter. We asked him to read it for us, and here it is. Sasaguren, anata, yumeji no, muma, tokiru. Thank you for your beautiful poem. The next set of questions is from Sonwe. The first one is, Mary in the dream has pink hair and a pink dress, but does she look like that in the waking world? That's an excellent question, Sonwe. Mary in the real world is very different. In fact, her name isn't even Mary. In the real world, Maddie has brown hair and brown eyes, and she wears large sweaters and a long brown skirt. His next question is, how is Mary's life outside of dreaming? Does she have any likes besides dreaming? Alright, let me tell you more about her life. Maddie lives alone with her father in a big, isolated mansion. She has an uncle who visits and gives her books and things. She likes being read stories, and her mom used to read to her before she passed away. Maddie doesn't go to school, and she usually stays in the house or in the garden. When she's bored, she plays with the maid or with her tutor. The next question was sent anonymously. Here's the first one. Does Mary have any kind of special power or an iconic item? What a fun question. Mary does indeed have a special power. In fact, her power is what created the dream world. You see, everyone in this universe has a sort of power which is passed down through families. In Mary's case, she can create worlds in her dreams. Also, her iconic item is a white billy. Another question from Sunray. From whom did Mary inherit her power, her mom or her dad? And what kind of person was her mother before she passed? Mary got her power from her mom. Mary's mom was a silent woman who loved Mary very much and was always kind. But she could be cryptic and mysterious, too. She tried her best to help Mary with learning her powers, but unfortunately she fell into a coma before she could finish what she started. Here's another anonymous question. What does the flower symbolize? The white lily flower often symbolizes innocence and purity. Our next question is, are these animals related to Mary in any way? Yes, all of them have a relationship with Mary in a general sense. If you mean by blood through family relations, then that's symbolically also a yes. Hmm. Those are all of the questions so far. Thanks again for your support, and I hope you're enjoying the dream. really anywhere else I can go. What are you doing there, said the princess. I'm spinning, my child, said the old woman. This is very pretty. How do you do it? Give it to me that I may see if I can do, if I can do so. She picked up the spindle, but no sooner did she touch it than she pricked herself with it and then fell down into a deep sleep. After a time, it happened by chance that a king was out hunting and passed that way. When the king beheld something who seemed to be enchanted, he believed that she was asleep, and he called her, but she remained unconscious. Crying aloud, he beheld her charms and blah blah blah. blah.
Yep, this is the real story of Sleeping Beauty. She was raped and had two children while still sleeping. I can't do anything else. Is there something here? Oh, there seems to be a door hidden in the wall.
Well, I guess we'll try and go through that other way. It says don't go there yet. I'm gonna freaking break my laptop. Welcome back, dear. Are you done playing with your friends? Oh, but it's not time to start yet. We're still missing something. If you can get the receipt from your friends, we can go deeper into the dream together, Mary. Alright? Be patient for just a little longer. You're such a good girl, Mary. I'll be waiting. The fuck? <laughs> 